Oh my god. That is the worst possible people to find this cache of guns. Welcome back to another movie reaction and today we'll be watching If, directed by Lindsay Anderson. This movie was a request by I Like To Stay Home over on Patreon. This person has great taste in movies, they've been a loyal patron and I Like To Stay Home, thank you very much for all the support you've been showing. You're one of the reasons this channel is where it's at today. What I do know about this movie, Malcolm McDowell, and that's it. So let's get into this. Before we begin, I do want to remind you that you can vote on what I watch, see full length reactions, and get early YouTube edits on my Patreon through the link in the description. If not, just make sure you subscribe or leave a thumbs up on this video if you do enjoy it. Really helps my channel reach a wider audience and I greatly, greatly, greatly appreciate it. But now, it's time for the show. Let's go. Black and white. Wisdom is the power. Knowledge is power. A school. See, that's what I figured what was in the background during the intro. Maybe a, a Christian religious school or Catholic. That's what I meant, not Christian. I can't see my name. I'm new. Stop! I don't even know if that kid knows why he's running, but he's taking off just because everyone else is. Running! Your jukes bump, Tudor. Take him to the sweat room. Run! Run in the corridor! <laughs> They encourage you to run? This is like a, a mini frat house. Come on up, Bobby. We want to stroke you. You too. Get upstairs and behave yourselves. Right, get a move on. God. <laughs> I can tell who that is by those eyes. Come on, man. Nightly, stop preening yourself in that mirror. Take that crap off. Oh, he's covering something up. <laughs> what do you think of it? Fantastic. Put him right in the middle. Is that an African warlord next to the that screaming painting? Like this fantastic bird in the East End. You should see those old loves dancing, showing their knickers. Take them off near the end. <laughs> I mean, it's hard to blame someone for sneaking out and, you know, hooking up with girls and just doing anything other than being here every once in a while. Work, play, but don't mix the two. Just remember that life here is a matter of give and take. That sounds like some boys will be boys, shit's gonna happen type of talk. This house got itself a reputation for being disgustingly slack. The lock up is at five. Anyone leaving the house after that time must have a leave signed by a whip. They said whips are in order. If you break any, if you break the rules, okay, well, we're gonna definitely see somebody getting whipped because look at this place. It's too strict. Fretzer hasn't got elephantiasis. He's just a fat Jew. You're not a whip yet. Any more lip from you two, you'll be down for a cold shower. <laughs> bitch hit him with a fucking peach like they said you're not a whip yet i'm assuming a whip is these dudes who walk around with these canes telling everyone to shut up it's a little bear very snug marvelous thing is completely quiet up here it is a bunch of young boys living there though but the teachers can't get little nicer rooms like a crappy motel or, or a or an attic your hair's still long. Get it cut. Lights out in 30 seconds. No talking. Silence. They're too old and shit to be having a bad time, and this is like the military. You three had better watch it. The day's coming. What day? One night we're gonna massacre you, Stephens. I'll do you for free. Townside windows <laughs> A religious boarding school? I hope someone doesn't like snap or have a like a mental breakdown. I'm curious what the plot of this is gonna be. Or maybe there won't be, like Barry Lyndon. I want to see your whips in my study after break. Right, sir. Oh, how is India? Enjoy it? Jolly good. Bridget, I shall be taking the modern six for business management. Man, the headmaster just seems like a very disingenuous person. I can. The holiday S's. Charming, good, bad. I lost your essay somewhere in the Mont Blanc tunnel, but I'm sure it was good. And this is a pretty chill, laid-back teacher, considering how uptight this place is. All a simple matter of evil dictators, rather than populations of evil people like ourselves. No? Do you have a view? They don't know if it's a trap or not. <laughs> sides of the one equal the sides of the other. Angles of the one equal the angles of the other. Understand running? Yes, good. Slap the shit, <laughs> slap the shit out of him, damn. The perpendicular over the hypotenuse. Right, Jude? Yes, sir. 
College is a symbol of... Was he twisting his nipple? Britain today is a powerhouse of ideas, imagination, on everything from pop music to pig breeding, power stations to miniskirts. Basically tying back into the intro of the movie, that opening proverb about wisdom. You do realize it's not just a matter of knowing the answers, it's how you say it. One word wrong and you fail the whole test. And we get beaten, right. So it's an incentive for them to make sure he learns it too, because if he doesn't, they all get beat. He's got a pattern of imagery on his wall, holding up guns, aggression. I saw a football player in the corner sitting on the bench, you know, just combat in different forms. Up, How do you not expect me to fight you every time I see you if you do some shit like this to me? Oh, oh, Shut up, Michael. Don't you? Excuse me, please. You're standing on my clothes. I'm starting to hate this place. This movie is making me feel like I'm here. Tough sport for sure. Right at home, along with everything else these kids do on a daily basis. Oh, that little blonde. Don't be disgusting. The girl, right? This homosexual flirtatiousness. So adolescent. Wait, Taylor's a boy? <laughs> We're We're waiting. Waiting. Right. But, here, what's mine? Big one in the middle. Round tree. Kid was whipping it up in there. I don't know why they put that part in black and white. Like, come on. No matter how strong the urge, resist any temptation to go into battle. The whole world will end very soon. Brittle bodies peeling into ash. Fucking dark, man. Lay off the vodka. I mean, look at the pictures that are on his wall, though. Of course he's going to feel that way. There's no such thing as a wrong war. Violence and revolution are the only pure acts. War is the last possible creative act. These are like the outside-of-the-box thinkers, aware of other religions and silliness in some of these rules. What in hell are those? There's still blood on them. They're a breeding ground for bacteria. You're a degenerate, Travis. It's a little weird to have teeth with blood still on them around your neck. They're basically an assistant. That's what her job is. His job? Is it? A, it's a guy, right? My time's up, you bastard. Say that I get back. Oh, he's asking for a, a revolt or rebellion. Damn, chapter four already? Can't talk about romance without seeing some women at this all-boys school. Come on, keep your head up, head up. Come on, more effort, more effort, Philip. You need more push-up. Good. Dude, come on. <laughs> I don't remember them asking us to do this in gym class. <laughs> That's crazy upper body strength. like ritual it's almost like he's doing a ritualistic dance there's a lot of primal things in this movie i'm noticing and they are whipping those swords around blood real blood yeah, man, it was bound to happen. I don't know what, what the hell y'all were thinking. It, it, it didn't escape me that it went from black and white to color while they were fighting. You'd be the most religious person, but when it comes to supporting your sports team, a whole nother animal can come out. So I'm saying it's, it's from being in that place you know it's stuff like that isn't really discouraged you're punished but it's nothing serious a cold shower <laughs> see what i'm talking about i already knew it like they're sitting there fighting in the street they're doing shit that should get them arrested <laughs> The 
score to this is really good. Keys playing while you're passing by greenery. It had that kind of wondrous feel to it. You know, we're just out here going into the unknown almost. As soon as I say that, it goes, it turns black and white. What does that mean? He was kind of smooth with that. She didn't spill a drop. Oh, wow. Did he imagine that or did he really do that? What's up with Mal Malcolm McDowell playing characters that assault women? Look at my eyes. I stand in front of the mirror and my eyes get bigger and bigger. This chick I is... Like tigers. <laughs> She's got a fire in her. Holy shit. She just pulls you in. I mean, yes, she looks good, but... <laughs> That's basically what it's coming down to. It's it's everyone, it's reverting back to the primalness. Now she's part of the clique. I don't think these guys intend on going back to that place. And I did say, hey, we gotta be expecting a woman in the primal chapter. And sure enough, I mean, ritual and romance. You know, if I pass all the tests, I'm definitely going to California. I'm going to be a criminal lawyer. Damn, they got a ton of guns ready for a war. Who was with you? No one. Was he really expecting them to rat? Get this dude. Flayed alive. That's what the Crusaders did to their enemies. Used to send the neatly folded skin back to their victims' wives. Ugh. I did not want to hear that. The thing I'd really hate is to have a nail bang through the back of my neck slowly. I don't see what difference the speed makes. These guys. These guys are bored. They are going crazy in that place. Are the juniors on the whole dull? Of course, it's just a matter of proportion. Unruly elements threaten the stability of... You can't really be surprised at how the juniors are acting, man. You know what the fuck goes on here. Juniors to the sweat room and seniors to their studies. Fisher, that's your second bun. I saw you put it back. Damn, man. Man can't have an extra bun? I imagine you know why you're here. No. A general nuisance in the house. <laughs> just being a general nuisance. Being a nuisance. <laughs> they just gave it a blanket term. The way you give Coca-Cola to your scum and expect us to lick your frigid fingers for the rest of your frigid life. Go down to the gym. Wait outside. Oh, shit. Sounds like a punishment is coming. Wallace! Damn, one by one? What is it, a wrap on the hands? Ooh. Damn, I feel like they're gonna give this dude a whole bunch of hits. Oh, they're whipping him in the ass. Not me. No, sir. And the one we do get to see whipped is Travis. Damn, they get a running start. Damn, and they're doing it right above the kids' room. That's where the whipping room is. That had to be intentional. Of course, he's loving it. And with all those magazines and shit he cuts out of all these guys that went through shit and didn't take shit and fought for what they believed in, I'm surprised he's just taking all this shit and not doing anything back, to be honest with you. I forgot what that chapter... Resistance, see? They just set it up, man. They're asking for it. Maybe that's why they showed that cell or mitochondria or whatever that was in the magnifying glass, like multiplying. It's starting to grow the resentment and uneasiness and resistance to this fucking institution. Bring them to the front and give them a taste of blood. A young dog will whelp. Jesus, scared the shit out of me. They cut to him loading up a gun? Looking like Han Solo with the vest? I think this was before Star Wars too. We're on our own now. What are we going to do? Trust me. Of course. When are we going to do it? When I say. Oh man, making a blood pact? This dude. Death to the oppressor. The resistance. Liberty. One man can change the world with a bullet in the right place. Yeah, I mean, look how World War II started. World War I, I forgot. World War I. The Archbishop of Austria, I think? Franz Ferdinand? One bullet, one person. I'll, I'll... They mean literal bullets, though? Well, look at them. I mean, he kind of got the gist that they were going to end up together from when he was flipping and they were eyeballing each other. Space, you see, Michael, is all expanding at the speed of light. It's a mathematical certainty that somewhere there's another planet where they speak English. 
I don't want to think about shit like that. Please don't, don't. That's I know. English though, fourth to war. I don't know how serious these kids are. Damn man, I'm not liking this. It's gonna end up really bad. Jesus Christ is our commanding officer, and if we desert him, we can expect no mercy. We are all deserters. The, the military would love you. Head junction, four o'clock. We will attack and destroy that tree. They must just be practicing right now, right? This can't be real. What are you doing? You forgot to yell. The yell of hate. Ah! Oh my god, his teeth are fucked up. That makes him look even scarier. Ah! <laughs> I don't even understand the point of what they're trying to do here. They're just throwing him in a whole bunch of different stuff. D section over here. Oh shit! Come out of there! Look like Ghostbusters coming out there with their brown suits and weapons. Oh shit! <laughs> oh my god, what fucking. The Reverend Woods might have been quite badly hurt. I thought they were just about to start massacring people. What the fuck? He's just laying in the drawer? That's some weird shit. What the fuck? I'm going to give you a privilege. Real work. And I want you to think of this not as a punishment, but as an opportunity to give. You would have thought they would have got whipped. Since they got whipped for just their general attitude, they don't get, like, any real punishment for actually firing guns off at people? <laughs> what the fuck? Okay, maybe it was being experimented on or alrighty then Oh my god That is the worst possible people to find this cache of guns What the fuck they've got like military grade shit Looks like there's a lot of important people there. Your Royal Highness, my Lord Bishop, General Denison, my Lords, ladies and gentlemen. I'm not sure what the ceremony here is. Even in the crowd, there's important people, not just on stage. The old orders that made our nation a living force are scorned by modern psychiatrists, priests, pundits of all sorts. He's basically anti-progressive. You picked the right crowd for that. What do we see? We see bloodshed. Oh, shit. Yes. <laughs> but England. As soon as I saw that, it's time to get out. It's time to get up. It's time to go. It's up to all of you, chap. Give the world a lead. The tradition that you have learned here, self-reliance. This guy is still talking? Do you not see what's going on? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> what the fuck? Handing guns out so they can fight back? That's fucking nuts! Bastard! Bastard! <laughs> oh my god, it turned it into a war zone. They're gonna shoot this dude right in the fucking head. Listen to reason and trust me! There's a time for talking and there's a time for fighting. This was not a time for talking at all. What the fuck? Oh my god, that was such a weird movie. That's so different than anything I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> that chorus, that... Whoa, 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 whoa. I enjoy a good slow burn. But... They usually like lead up to moments that are intense or, you know, like the, the, the last part of the movie. This was like the last few minutes of the movie. It just got fucking crazy. This was something else. And that, ladies and gentlemen, was If.
I don't think anyone watching this movie expected it to end that way. I thought, I think I even said it during the movie, you know, they're being aggressive. It's It, um, it, it was almost like a pressure cooker situation. Something's going to happen. Of course, they're going to form a resistance and fight back. They didn't fight back. They became terrorists. It just fit into the primal theme of things like ritual and romance. I think it was Bobby and the other guy. You know, he was doing a ritualistic dance to entice him. And when Malcolm McDowell and, and, and the girl were rolling on the floor inside of the coffee shop and they eventually got naked when they were fighting with the swords, just opening up the movie with the kids acting wild, rambunctious, everything was all over the place, kids falling on top of each other. When they cut their hands and made the blood pact, all the pictures on the wall with the magazines, it, it was just throwing primal imagery and situations everywhere. So it was only natural that it ended this way. Just, just killing. That, that is definitely one of the earliest things man figured out was an effective thing to do. I don't really get the black and white. I don't know what that was supposed to serve. Didn't see any connection to that. Um, if there was any connection, please let me know. The score was excellent. I mean, and, and that I can still hear that ah, ooh, that that ethereal church music, the choir. But that wasn't the, the only good parts. I, I did enjoy the music that I was playing when they visited the town and they were riding around on the bike when the guy was flipping and spinning. If the sound is good in the film, I'm telling you, half of the work is done. And the the gunfire, the speech the whipping the caning the creaking it was mixed very well for a movie that was in the 60s it was it 68 and i don't know who that actress was that played the girl but she played crazy very well she was hot the hot ones are always crazy so it works again i'm just gonna mention the unexpected violence in the last few minutes why, why? I don't even know how much I spoke. I don't remember what I said. My eyes were probably darting all over the place because they were shooting up the school. Them finding the guns wasn't really a pretense to that. There were always guns inside of the, the building and even them shooting guns when they were training and stuff like that. Like, how were they not in jail for that? I don't... They were asking for it. They were poking the bear, putting them in a pressure cooker and the meal was cooked. I <laughs> I guess the, it, it, it was not going to end well in any way with them still being there and then for them to find those military grade weapons at the bottom did someone sneak them in and what was with the baby in the jar just weirdness all around but i think that was intentional i don't think a lot of that stuff had any double meaning behind it it was just supposed to be out there and i, I blame all of it of course on the kids that shot up there's ways of dealing and handling stuff but this all could have been prevented without this horrible leadership and management and i don't think it's ever that bad like how it was in this it, it could have been at a certain point there are some institutions like this where kids really snap i'm sure of it i don't know because it was a pretty funny movie i i, I can't lie I, I did laugh a few times so i don't think it was meant to be taken serious it felt a little bit like network almost but instead of news stations in the media it was more on the school system private school systems or or like european school systems that that's not really how it works here that's why when they say we ship you off the boarding school usually it's in another country but that was if <laughs> what the fuck was that ending i like to stay home uh what have you recommended over over time kid detective loved it greasy strangler it's a shame it won't make youtube i don't know if it's still on patreon barry linden excellent excellent visually one of the greatest movies i've ever seen and it uh, as far as a, a day in the life movie goes that's up there with what i've seen at least and pie another movie with a crazy wild ending it was like a precursor to the matrix cool ass movie and there could have been one more i don't remember but and now we can add this to the list thanks for recommending these movies these movies are a ride that's the best way to describe it if there's a movie that you want me to watch head on over to patreon select the greatest of all time tier and i guarantee to watch that movie within a month the video will be sponsored by you and you get a verbal shout out recommend out there shit like i've been recommended this is this is what i want if anything stood out to you in this movie if there was anything i might have missed please tell me about it in the comments below i hope you enjoyed watching my reaction all i ask is that you leave a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't yet you can also vote on what i watch see full link reactions and get early youtube edits on my patreon through the link in the description you guys are the best we're a family and you know that that's it for me until next time spread peace and love not like the guys in this movie damn what the fuck was that ending i'm out <laughs>